We the brown boys. The brown boys. The brown boys. We the brown boys. The brown boys. We the brown boys. I wonder why Stephen A. Smith never made mention of this stuff, though. Because <clears throat> I'm going to go out on a limb and I'm going to say this. Uh, Jalen Green is better than most people. <laughs> Jalen Green, I mean, Jalen Brown, I'm sorry, I'm talking about Jalen Green. Jalen Brown is better than most people. Have y'all seen this guy's resume? Did, did Stephen A. Smith ever take the time to even mention why someone would just automatically assume that this guy thinks he's better than them. Cause reading his resume and me being a man that's not insecure or uh, thinking that somebody is above me, but I can recognize when somebody has accomplished more than me and has done greater things than I have. And I will go out on a limb to say, yes, Jalen Brown is better than me. Jalen Brown is better than most NBA players. You're comparing him to NBA players. And this guy was smart enough to get a NASA. He went to UNC Berkeley. When he got drafted, they thought that he might be too smart for the NBA, that he might need to go do something else. And y'all are questioning. Stephen, you never thought to mention that this guy was the youngest pre vice president in the NBA, that he's his own agent and he negotiates his own contracts. You never thought that maybe one of those meetings he went into in the NBA and he's smart enough to give pushback and say, hey, this is some BS. I don't want my brand a part of this and I'm not going to do any of this. Stephen A., you mean to tell me you never made mention that this is a black man. And I saw Gilbert Arenas and uh, Rashad McCann's and um, what's his name? God dang it. I'm sorry. I'm forgetting his name. Um, but I saw them going back and forth. And I have to agree with Shar McCann. I agree with some of the stuff Gilbert said, because but Gilbert jumps. He double dutches. He gives a reason why he's not marketable by saying the truth. He said he one minute. He said, I can see why somebody would think he's not marketable because he's too smart. And Jalen Brown. And the truth of the matter is. Some of the conversations that NBA players, oh, Brandon Jennings, sorry about that. No disrespect, Brandon. But I can um, I can see how some of the conversations that the average NBA player would have that a guy that went to UNC Berkeley, I can see him not wanting to participate in those conversations. So the fact that Stephen A. Smith can have a kind word after Dana White, bow, bow, his wife two times, and I'm not advocating for hitting no women, but Dana White, mm, mm, and then picked it back up and put it in the seat. And Stephen A found some kind words to say about this man. And because a private source called Stephen A or sent it to Stephen A right before his taping of first tape, I mean, either it's a beautiful coincidence or he's a script reading bitch like I said he was. But right before his take, Somebody sent him something about Jalen Brown. They didn't send him nothing about all his accolades, and you can run that story right before he compete for the NBA championship. No, let's talk about how people may think he's arrogant or he thinks he's better than everybody. But guess what? He's earned the right to walk around here thinking he's better than most people because ain't nobody tell you to sit there. I like what Rashad McCann said. Ain't nobody tell you to be a dummy. Ain't nobody tell you to keep going to the gym and shoot all day when this man wanted to go to UNC Berkeley and work on his game and his mind. So if you feel that he's better than you, he probably is. He damn sure smarter than me. <laughs> so stop being insecure and just say it. This young man is a hell of a nigga. And if you don't like that word, he's a hell of a man.